What up, peeps? It's Mama from Joe Mama here. And today we are playing Minecraft Story Mode. And it's gonna take me a minute to get adjusted to hearing myself through the headphones. So, it's a Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. If these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer. That's not what I was expecting. See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. You can call me Harper. Your bravery is an impressive quality. I look forward to studying the aspects of your personality once you have been made useful. We'll see about that. What is that? This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. It can help you find your way home. How is this going to do that? The answers you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? That's a lot of stairs. And all revealed by the redstone heart. Amazing. Yeah, not bad, right? Hey guys, I'm not sure what's up there, but whatever it is, we all need to stick together. You got it? Yeah, we've got your back, Jesse. Ah, <sighs> feels like just yesterday we were building this place. Still don't agree with some of the aesthetic choices. Very odd to be back. Wait, you're from here? Uh-huh. What's the big deal? It's a big deal because we've been in the old builder's world this whole time and you didn't tell us. There was never a natural time to bring it up. Kind of thought I'd never need to come back to tell you the truth. Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. <gasps> My goodness. Are you joking? You think you're nice? Yeah, I don't know if you remember the whole Pama thing, but... Uh... Hey, I had good intentions with that, all right? Don't make me regret helping you. Well, you're going to give us the atlas, and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Good instincts? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince them to hand over the atlas. You're not going to let us down, right? 
I'm gonna do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? No, I think she's definitely hiding something. But if we're going to get home, we need her help. Agreed. Don't worry, okay? We're gonna get that atlas and get home. I'm sorry to hear you feel that way, Jesse. Sorry. I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise you both, I am trying to help. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <laughs> Harper. Some sort of crazy game. Really? You think this is a game? No, no. Jesse's right. It's bleep. Is it in tight? No, it's a game. You try to knock the floor out from other people and make them fall. Ah, be my damn! Oh. Was my only decent teammate. Oops, did face me drop something? Get Ivor, quick! Wow, nice one, Jesse. That was close. No! <gasps> Ivor! Lucas! No, 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 no! What? Well, it can't be. Bro, no way, dude. I got a double. <laughs> One, Jesse, that was close. No! <gasps> Ivor! Lucas! No, 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 no! What? Well, it can't be. Bro, no way, dude. I got a double. <laughs> no! Hey, 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 whoa! This is a misunderstanding, dude. What are you doing? Hey! Using weapons is against the rules! Rules? Not cool, dude. So not cool. Slab is down. I repeat, slab is down. Stop the match! Not since the days of Tim have we seen such heated play. That's totally against the rules, right? Yeah. I didn't think we could throw TNT back at the gladiators. Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I th And now you're just trying to be all buddy-buddy? Okay, none of you are responding like you should be to what's going on, so are you all crazy, mind-controlled, what? Whoa, hang on, dude. I am not in charge here, okay? It's them. Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. 
It definitely is strange, Nevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is you just ruined our round of spleef. Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. <laughs> okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. Huh, that would be wasteful. <laughs> Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. It's just a game. But I saw them die. How are they alive? <laughs> I'm not surprised that you're confused. Tiny brains. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <clears throat> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! No, oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. We're from another world. Yeah? Well, you and everyone else here, Pipsqueak. You know what you are, champ? You're just a little gate crasher. And what do we do with gate crashers? Kill them and send them to the mines. Back off, muscles. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? No. We just want to get our friends and go home. Sorry, Chief, but this is your home now. Might as well get comfy. No. Way. We've been lost in your stupid portal hallway long enough. We're going home. Meaning, you need my atlas. Very interesting. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Yeah, ask Harper. She's the one helping. Um, right. Yes. Believe me, Hadrian, when you see what Jesse has, let's just say it will pique your interest. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. I'm gonna go through the list just so that you guys can see what Oh, send them to the mines. They're cheaters. Let's make their lives miserable for fun. This is not against the rules. Technically, they are still in the games. How about my sword? Wow, a sword. Is it sharp? I don't deserve to be here, Adrian. It's interesting. I think they could bring some excitement. How about this flint and steel? We have castles filled with chests, which are filled with flints and steels. Oh, how embarrassing. They haven't been eliminated. Therefore, they could still be... Out! I want them out! <laughs> I'd be delighted to have them in the mines.
present the Eversource crown. Wait, why do I recognize that? Oh, that's the crown we put on the Eversource chickens so we'd be able to tell them apart from the regular chickens. Oh, that was a good party, huh? Sadly, not exactly valuable. How about a white pumpkin? Oh, wow. Haven't seen one of those since Cassie left. Oh, don't say that name. She still gives me nightmares. <laughs> oh, yikes. Is that who you got that from? I don't know what she told you, but those things aren't exactly valuable. yesterday someone took off with that and vowed never to return with it oh but i didn't bring it back jesse did thing's no toy slugger how about you just hand it over huh it can be uh pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it oh i've got you interested now don't i you've certainly got my attention yeah here's the way my offer works you give me the heart you and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? So, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. You Clearly, things have been getting out of hand. Let's start over and see if we can reach an agreement. Okay. Okay, fine. I can always appreciate someone trying to be reasonable. Well... You need the Atlas. And I need competitors. After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. Everyone enjoys these games. It really does take a big person to admit when they've met their match, right, Hadrian? Yeah, that's right. Slugger. I'll play these games. Bring it on. Well, I guess we have a deal then. Gravel. All right then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official... Oh, Otto, enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh, he's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Wait, but this was your plan. You said you had it all worked out. Yeah, about that. I didn't think you'd willingly come here. I might have acted in haste before uh, I could work out all the details. You don't say? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. Trouble. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching part one of episode go to Creator Studio and to pop up the new subscribers. Alright, now, how did I find that? Because I forgot. Since I changed the YouTube thing, my God. Benji French? They just recently subscribed. for subscribing. Go check them out. I will leave their link in the description. So that's one of them. Let's see subscribers. Hopefully it will show up. Fox Gaming is another one. Go check them out. And those are the two that are showing up as of now. Rose for Life yesterday. Um, I popped in his live stream. And thankfully, you know, he's not leaving YouTube, his friend is, which is sad, but at least Bruce for Life is still able to continue on with his YouTube. Um, but yesterday I popped over in his live stream that he's having, which yesterday was the 2nd of July, today's the 3rd of July. He had given us a shout out in his live stream and was telling his friends to come and subscribe to us to see if we can. He's trying to help us get up to 100 subscribers. So I wanted to thank Bros for Life for that because we did end up getting two new subscribers. They're not popped up on here yet as showing which ones they are. Um, But, as you see, we are now up to 24 subscribers. It's funny because the video, episode 7, I believe, um, the last part of episode 7, I was rendering it yesterday, right before um, I went on his live stream. And uh, in that video is when I said, hey, you think we can reach 25 subscribers by the end of summer when Joey goes back to school, which happens to be the end of that deadline would have been the 20th of August because he starts school the 21st of August. And we're almost there, guys. I'm wondering if we could actually hit it by the end of July, beginning of August. Maybe pop the, you know, pop it up to 30. See if we could maybe get six more subscribers by August 20th. Do you think we can do it? We will find out. <laughs> but shout out to Benji French and Fox Gaming. Like I said, I will leave a link to their channels in the descriptions. Thank you guys for subscribing. Oh. And Fox Gaming, if you paid attention, I just subscribed back. Sorry, I thought I was already subscribed. I thought I had already done it, so I apologize. So Fox Gaming, welcome to the Joe Mama Clan, and Benji French, welcome. Thank you guys for subscribing. Like I said, your links will be in the description. Hopefully, our page will go and check you guys out. Thank you guys so much. 24 subscribers, I, I'm just so ecstatic. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Joey, come and say thank you to everybody for the subscribers. And if you like these videos, please come to the YouTube and show your support. And subscribe! Tell them thank you. Benji and Fox. Are those 
Benji. Sean. And Sean, yes. I forgot. Sean was one of our other ones, which I it's not showing. It's like, Fox Gaming. Oh, that's Sean. Oh, that's Joey's friend then, Sean. Okay, okay, Fox. Sean, we are now subscribed back to you. I have to do it this way because I don't need the software to edit it. So when I'm doing the recording without the music, I cannot have the headphones on because of the echoing. It just distracts me. We got a controller yesterday for the Xbox 360. So maybe I might mess around later. Eventually, I'm going to check it out to see how we can do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, if you like this video and you want to see more of this craziness, let us know. Or subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to our channel. If you do, let us know in the comments. We can give you a shout out in a future video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.